Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my Reflexology channel. Um, I'm so pleased uh, from the comments that I've received that people have enjoyed what I've done and um, I must admit I thought we would just get a couple of hundred people uh, watching the video and yet we've actually had over 4,000 so I'm rather stunned, uh, rather taken aback that people have enjoyed it so much um, and also we have indeed received some requests for different styles of reflexology. So. Um, this video is for Nadine and for Sharon, who have both asked for something that is going to help with their anxiety um, and also with emotional pain. And so this technique is something that I call chasing the pain away. Um, for us to be able to do it, I am going to give a tiny reflexology theory lesson so that we can translate where things are on the body as to where things are on the hand and uh, that will basically then allow us to be able to do the treatment because different people hold pain in different parts of their body so I hope you enjoy what we're going to do and let's get on with the lesson so here we go with our um, easy little lesson um, so this is so that you can tell where in the body is on the hand and what we need for this is a little chart and so I've prepared one for you uh, you can either use a link that's at the bottom of the YouTube page it's, it's going to be down there somewhere uh, and there's a link directly there for it or um, you can go to the jubileecollege.com website just say that one again jubileecollege.com and it will look like this all you have to do is then just scroll down a little bit and you'll be able to see a little picture here. Click on that and then up comes a pair of hands and a person. Uh, right click on that and click save image as. So that's at jubileecollege.com. Click on the picture then right click just like that, save image as. So by the magic of film, we have here our hand reflexology chart printed out. We have our left hand, we have our right hand, and we have um, our body. Now the most important thing to remember is left hand, right hand, left hand side of the body, right hand side of the body because of course our man is looking back at us so this is a mirror image and we have got our man divided into um, five areas the head the chest uh, the top of the abdomen base of the abdomen and then we have this pelvic line just here so we have a shoulder line a diaphragm line waistline pelvic line and so to translate that onto our foot hand chart, we have the head area here. We have got our chest area in this first set of boxes just here. We then have the um, upper waist area here and here. And then we have our pelvic region just here. So let's just sort of translate that with this part of the body here as well. Now on these hands I've drawn five zones and they are just like the five fingers that we have and these will actually then help you to split the hand up into five zones. Let's just pretend that we have got some pain in our body on our left hand side maybe zone four or five and it's just above the waistline so being as this is on the left hand side of our body and it's in sort of zone four or five let's say if it was on zone five um, we would then want to rub that pain away on our left hand so I'm going to place my finger 
this finger just here approximately where that pain would be. I'm now going to keep my finger where it is and I'm going to turn my hand over and then I'm going to mirror where I'm working on the palm of my hand. So both of my fingers are pinching, so to speak, working either side on the back of the hand and also on the palm of the hand. So I just put my finger back where it was. You can see how it's matching where this cross is. And then we can work both sides of the hand together. And I'm just doing little circles. Now, if you had got a pain, a hurt, emotional hurt, and you were storing it on your shoulders. So if you felt like your shoulders got so tight every time that you felt some anxiety, some pain, whatever, you would then want to work all the way along this shoulder line here on the hands. So again, what I'm going to do, um, and being as we, um, you, you would be feeling this all the way across, so not just on one side of the body or the other, we're going to work both hands now. So we've got our hand by the side of our um, little hand chart. I'm going to place my finger on the shoulder line. I'm going to turn my hand over and I'm going to work. Can you see how where the fingers join my hand? You'll be able to feel that there's a ridge and that is just like the ridge that runs along the top of your shoulders. And so we can either work thumb walking or thumb uh, little circles and I'm doing the same with my finger on the other side. So we're just doing plenty of circles pushing in. If you feel a spot that feels extra tender, stop there, rub it all away and that will then help with where you are feeling your anxiety. So settle down comfortably into a chair and breathe deeply and do a body scan. So imagining your body from the tip of your head to the tips of your toes and see where it is that you are holding this pain, this anxiety in your body. Different people feel it in different places. But here we are showing on our shoulders. So we're going to work the muscles called the trapezius muscles. We're just going to do circles, nice and relaxing. Now when you do a body scan, you may feel pain in a different part of your body. That's absolutely fine. Everybody holds anxiety in their own unique place. So wherever it is that you are holding that pain, use the chart that you've just learned how to use so that you can work the appropriate part of the hand. Now here we're just also going on to working just where the trapezius joins the neck. And we're working right round the neck. And because it was on both sides of the body, we're working on both hands. Again, lovely, relaxing, soothing. There's no rush with this. Nice and gentle. And if you find a spot that's sharper, then do stay on it. Rub the pain away. Rub the anxiety away. 
and again now just finishing off on the neck now when we've done that you're going to bring yourself back and do another body scan see if the pain has moved see if the pain is in the same place okay so it's moved it's now in the center of our body the solar plexus where we tend to feel anxiety so we're going to work the solar plexus reflex which is on the diaphragm line lovely soothing soothing circles and also because we're at the center of the chest we're going to work the heart reflex here too now if it's uncomfortable to work both sides of the hand at the same time no problem about working one side of the hand and then turn the hand over and then the other side of the hand so we're going to do the solar plexus on this hand soothing circles and now we're going to do the heart on this hand and take as much time as you want just rub that anxiety away rub that painful hurt away We bring yourself back, deep breaths, breathe in, healing air, breathe out any pain. See if there's another part of your body where the pain has moved to. So it's gone to our throat in this instance. So we're now going to work the reflex of the throat which is the base of the thumb working on both sides finger and thumb is working all around this area sometimes when there is pain you will feel a sort of as if your emotions are almost choking you this is a great area to work if that's the case if you kind of get that apple in your uh, lump in your throat uh, kind of feeling again take your time there is no rush just gently rub it all away Now you can see how I've moved my hand. This is just so that you can see what I'm doing. It's not that you have to move your hand like that. Keep your hand supported. Maybe have it on a pillow, a cushion, something like that, so it's nice and comfortable for you. And then when we've rubbed this area, we're going to do another body scan. Let's just see if the pain is still there at all. Or has it actually left? Working upwards, downwards, visually on our body. Let's just see if there's anything there. Remember, breathing in, healing air, breathing out. And that's good. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, that technique. The idea of it is, is that um, we chase the pain away and uh, do that body scan each time that you have worked a particular area. If you have enjoyed this, please do like and subscribe to uh, this video. Um, I have uh, got another one that um, I've been requested by quite a few people who um, have been having reflexology treatments and um, a few ladies are saying that they're missing their treatments because it's really helped to balance hormones whether it's a case of they're going through the menopause or um, just stress I mean because stress uh, plays havoc with hormones anyway they're not good bedfellows so that's the next uh, 
video that I'm going to be doing showing you how to do an endocrine balance technique with your hands. So I hope you've enjoyed this and thank you very much for watching.